Hi, this is Nick and Jess. Welcome to the Countryside Store. Thank you for using our family-run online countryside selling platform. Once you've registered your interest in becoming a seller, you'll be sent an email with a link to be able to log into your Countryside Store seller profile. This might appear in junk, so please do check your junk emails. Once you click on the link, this is what you will see. Here we'll have your username or your email address and your password. The password is automatically generated, so it will appear in there first. And then if you just pop login. So here is your dashboard. This is what you'll see when you first log in. If you just ignore all this text in here, that's not relevant. So here on the right hand side here, we have got the, the facility to log out. So if you do need to log out, please do log out at any time. On the left hand side here, there's a brief menu. So we've got media. So this is where all your media images that you've downloaded onto the Countryside Store will appear. You've got your products, which is where all your products are based. Your orders. So once you start getting orders, this is where they'll all be stored. Your seller profile which is the profile that people will see when they are on the Countryside Store. And then just down here at the bottom is your profile. So this is your back office profile. We'll just click through onto here. So this is what will appear when you click on your profile. So here we can change the colours. So you can have a blue background, for example. So we'll just leave it on that colour so you can see it. And then down here, we've got your first name, your last name and your nickname. And if you do change your email at any point, please do remember to update it here on the Countryside Store. We've got a bio here. This is just for you to fill in yourself. And it's, it's back office, so you, you'll be able to see it. And also a little profile picture of yourself there as well. If you would like to change your password at any point, if you just click on that generate a password, it'll come up here. And we recommend that you use a strong password. And please do not share it with anybody else. And then if you just update your profile, just by clicking here, I'll save. So we'll just click there. So we can just see here at the top, it just says profile has been updated. So now we're going to click on seller profile. So once you clicked on seller profile, this is your general information. So here is your business name or company name. Um, and then underneath is a slug. We, we ask that you do not change this at all. It is automatically generated through your business name. If you do need to change your business name, you can just change it there. And again, press save. Next, we're going to go on to payments. So here on payments, we're using PayPal. So we ask that you put your PayPal email address in here. This could be different to your normal email address. So it's the primary email address that you use when you are using your PayPal account. Under here is bank account and threshold. Please do not change any of those. And as again, please save payment information if amended your email address. Next we're going to go to your front page. So here we're on the front page of your profile. This is where the customer will be able to see some information about you. This is a prime opportunity for you to connect with your customers. We want our customers and your customers to understand <clears throat> who you are, the products you make and why you make them and perhaps why you love the countryside. This is the prime opportunity for you to get this information in and get over to your customers why they should buy from you. Okay, so we do recommend that you use Word to pre-look at your uh, text, just to make sure there's no spelling mistakes. So next we're going to go into the header image. As you can see, we've already got an image in here, but if we go on here, we can click on Upload or Add an Image. The best way is to go on to Upload Files here. So you can either do it two ways. You can select the file that you've got on your desktop, and we recommend for the header image that you use a 2000 length pixels by 750 pixels um, is the right size for our header images. Or if you've got your header images, if you've got images open here, you can click, simply grab the image and just drag it straight through and you, it will appear below. And we can copy the image straight in there. So once the image is uploaded, it will come through. Okay, so once we've got our images loaded, here at the side, we can change the, uh, the title of the text here, title of the image, and then also if we just pop it in to the alternative text. So if you just fill in those two boxes there, it just helps you to be able to be found easier on our platform. So we're going to click Use Image, so that's going to be our header image, and then underneath, again, is an avatar. 
So avatar is basically either a logo or a picture of yourself making your products. So again, we do the same, we upload and we have actually got it here. So we'll just click on this image here. We've changed the alternative text and the title there as well. And we're just going to use this image. Okay. Underneath here, we've got the location. So that's the location of your business. You store email. And like I said before, if you do change your email address, please do remember to change it throughout, throughout your seller profile. Also, you've got your telephone number. If you are a VAT registered company, there's your VAT number there. And then there's any company legal notes, which does have a description underneath as to what's got if needed. So now we're going to go on to social, your social profile. So your social pro pro profiles are Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. So we recommend that you upload whichever ones you've got there. So I'm just going to show you how to pop it in. So we've got Facebook here. So I'm just going to open up Facebook. So once you're on your Facebook page, if you just copy across up here at the top, we just right click and copy, and then we just go straight back onto our seller profile, and we'll just paste it in there, and then that's saved. Okay, so once you pop that, go right down to the bottom and press save your front page. So as we scroll back up to the top, you can see that the options have been saved. Okay, next we're going to go on to vacation. So vacation is if you go away from holiday at all and uh, you're away from your shop. So you can pop in here a message that all your customers will be able to see on your shop. You can pop in here the start date from when you will be away until you return on the end date. And then underneath you have got an option. So you can prevent sales temporarily or you can keep selling if you want to whilst you're still away. But people can see that you are away. And then again, if you just press save vacation settings, it will save everything you need to do. So next we're going to go on to shipping. So here we've got all the shipping details. So please make sure that this is ticked. So your enable shipping cost is ticked because then it will go live onto our the, uh, the selling platform. So here you pop in your shipping price. So the price that it costs for you to ship out an item. Um, underneath we've got additional price. So that would be if you are to ship out an I one of your items but not the same as the one that you are shipping. Uh, Right, so I'm just going to start that again. So you've got your shipping price here for shipping your primary product out. And then if you sell another product from your store, there's an additional shipping price there, which you'll put on for selling an additional price. And then this one underneath is if you've sold the same product originally, um, this is the cost it'll cost them to, for shipping. Next, we've got the processing time. So this processing time is very important. If it does make you does take time for you to make a product and then get it to the customer. We obviously need to reflect this in your processing time. It's obviously better to get the product to the customer before stated rather than afterwards. So we can just change that to three to five working days. We've also got a shipping policy. So any policy that you need to write in there, please do write all your information about your shipping policy and a refund policy. Uh, for example, if any of your products weren't returnable, please do write it in there so that the, uh, the customer can see. Here we've got the shipping location, so the sh we're shipping from the United Kingdom. So if you just scroll down here and click on the United Kingdom. At the minute we are only shipping to the United Kingdom. So here we've got the shipping area and we're just going to add a shipping zone. Which will be the UK there. And then if you start typing in the UK, this comes up here. Okay, and then also under the shipping methods, if you click add shipping method, you need it to be on the flat rate. So we need to make sure that we do this and add shipping method there. Okay. And then once you've done all your shipping, if you just save your shipping settings there. All right. So now we're going to go and actually look at your profile on the website. So if you go up here and click on visit store, it'll click through to your store on the countryside store. Okay, so you can see at the top here, this is where you can um, promote your store on social media, so on Facebook, on Instagram. So if you just copy across that link into your, your social media aspects, um, and then people can go straight onto your, your store here. So this is your store. At the minute, we've got no products, but the next video, we will be adding products, and you can have a look at your store here. So that's how to set up a profile. Uh, we hope this has been helpful. For more information, or if you would like the Countryside Store to help you build or build one uh, a profile for you, 
please get in touch at sales at the countrysidestore.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Thank you.